the New York Yankees Recaps Podcast. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, Today I'm going to be talking about the Zips projections, but first I wanted to plug the podcast. Uh, Be sure to check it out on Apple Podcasts or Spotify, whatever you use. I will be doing an episode about the 2009 New York Yankees championship season coming up, uh, and I'll probably uh, turn that into a video for YouTube. So let's talk about these projections. So what Zips is, is it takes existing players and it compares them to historical players and historical trends, to the environment they play in these days, and it uses all those numbers to make projections. Now, uh, some of these can be taken with a grain of salt because, you know, every player is different. You know, nobody would have projected Gio Urshela to have the season he had last year. Uh, the year that Aaron Judge hit 52 home runs, I think they projected him for 25 or 28. So they can't really tell if somebody's going to come out from nowhere. But using historical data, uh, they can kind of give you a ballpark range of what to expect from players in the upcoming season. So let's take a look at some of the highlights. And some of these numbers are crazy good. And some of them are a little surprising. Uh, let's start with the big guy, uh, Aaron Judge. Uh, he's projected to get 435 at-bats, so maybe accounting for his injuries the last couple years. Uh, 33 home runs, 82 RBIs, 79 walks, 166 strikeouts. Okay. Glaber Torres, this is where it gets interesting. 41 home runs, 115 RBIs. Wow. Those are A-Rod numbers in his age 23 season. Uh, DJ LeMahieu, regressing towards the mean a little bit, as I projected myself. 17 home runs, 75 RBIs. John Carlos Stanton, they're counting on a big year out of him. His age 30 season. 43 home runs, 116 RBIs. I think every Yankees fan on the planet would sign up for that right now. Uh, Gary Sanchez, his age 27 season, should be entering his prime. Hopefully he can stay on the field. They've got him regressing slightly with 32 home runs. In 414 at-bats, 93 RBIs. Uh, Mike Tauchman. Mike Tauchman's a guy I'm excited about. Uh, They've got him getting 414 at-bats, 14 home runs, 57 RBIs. So not quite the numbers I expect from Mike Tauchman. Uh, Luke Voigt, 23 home runs, 74 RBIs. And Gio Urshela, 19 home runs, 71 RBIs. Good that they're giving him a, a bit of love. Uh, Aaron Hicks, they've got him getting 339 at-bats. I don't know if he's going to get that many. Remember, he had UCL surgery at the end of last season. Uh, And from what we've seen from Aaron Hicks in the past, he's not the fastest healing human being. So uh, they've got him getting 17 home runs, 59 RBIs. I think that's a stretch. I think his numbers are going to be more along the lines they were last season. 12 homers, maybe 30 RBIs. Uh, We'll see if he plays that much. Mike Ford. They've got Mike Ford hitting 25 home runs and 75 RBIs. That would be, I think he would sign up for that. I think the Yankees fans would sign up for that, uh, especially when you combine that with the uh, 23 home runs from Luke Voigt. That would be 48 home runs out of our first baseman. Not bad. Uh, Brett Gardner, they've got him diminishing slightly uh, again. Uh, 16 home runs, 54 RBIs, 12 stolen bases. Uh, He's more of a speed guy. Kyle Higashioka. They've got him hitting 15 home runs. And now he did have 20 home runs in AAA last season, so he's got a bit of pop. Uh, The only way he gets that many home runs is if Gary Sanchez misses significant time, which unfortunately could happen because the last few years he's had a myriad of injuries, soft tissue injuries, hamstring, groin, uh, bicep. So we'll see. Tyro Estrada came out of nowhere last year, did a fantastic job filling in for the Yankees. They got him getting nine home runs and 42 RBIs, seven stolen bases in his age 24 season at shortstop. Uh, Miguel Andujar, not sure where they're going to get all these at-bats from. They've got him getting 507 at-bats, but they've also got Gio Urshela getting 471 at-bats. So unless there's 900 at-bats between you know, third base and utility guy, I don't see it. But they've got Andujar getting 19 home runs and 74 RBIs. Uh, Clint Frazier, another guy that I've been excited about offensively, but his defense scares the hell out of me. Uh, Dude can't catch a routine fly ball, doesn't have much of an arm, doesn't have much speed. 20 home runs, 65 RBIs. He does have a good bat. 
I'm not sure why they do this, but they have Troy Tulowitzki and Jacoby Ellsbury on here. I can tell you right now, neither one of those guys is going to play for the Yankees in 2020. Uh, moving on, uh, let's look at their pitching uh, statistics. Actually, you know what? Let's look at their advanced stats. Aaron Judge, they've got a, at having a 140 OPS plus. So OPS plus is on base plus slugging, but it's adjusted to league average. So 100 would be league average. They've got Aaron Judge at 140, Glaber Torres at 136, DJ LeMahieu at 108, John Carlos Stanton at 138, Gary Sanchez 121, Mike Tockman 105, Luke Voigt 122. Gio Urshela, 105. Aaron Hicks, 108. Mike Ford, 116. They like Mike Ford. I like Mike Ford, too. The guy guy makes hard contact. If you go to Baseball Savant, uh, there's a button up at the top right-hand corner that says StatCast, and it tells you um, where guys rank in terms of hard-hit balls and things like that, and you can dig down into their StatCast numbers. He had an exit velocity over 90 miles an hour last year, which is pretty good. So let's look at the pitchers. Uh, everybody is excited about Garrett Cole. I think people would be dis- uh, disappointed if he had the year that they're projecting. They're saying 16-7 and seven with a 3.10 ERA, 200 innings pitched, uh, 280 strikeouts. That's a lot of strikeouts uh, for a uh, for 200 innings. Uh, Luis Severino, 14-8, and eight, 3.52 ERA, 201 strikeouts in 166 innings. James Paxton, 11-7, 3.82 ERA. I'm a bit more bullish on James Paxton. The way he finished out the year, he could be one of those guys that breaks out and has a season akin to what Garrett Cole did in Houston the last couple years. Uh, If you look at his last two months, I think he was 10-0 with a 1.90 or 2.20 ERA. He had a really low ERA. I'm not looking at the numbers, but um, he had really, really great stuff over the last few months. Masahiro Tanaka pitching into the blaze. 11-8, 4.34 11-8, and 8, 4.34 ERA. If he's healthy, I think that that's a solid projection. That seems to be about what he does. He seems to have a couple of good months and then two or three bad starts, then a couple more good months, a couple of bad starts. You just hope that his bad starts don't line up with the playoffs. So far in his career, they haven't. Uh, Chad Green, 5-3 and three with a 3.27 ERA. He, of course, worked as an opener, but also as a setup man. I don't see him getting as many opener spots this year because I think that they're going to be healthier in the rotation. They're going to have Severino. They're going to have Jordan Montgomery. Uh, they're going to have Davey Garcia. Davey Garcia, they project at 7-7 seven and seven with a 4.68 ERA. Uh, Michael King, they project at 7-6 and six with a 4.78 ERA. Uh, Tommy Canely, they've got him with a uh, 3.42 ERA. Jonathan Loizaga, Johnny Lasagna, 4 point, uh, sorry, 4 and 3 with a 4.21 ERA. Uh, Zach Britton, 3.48 ERA. So they've got our bullpen sort of regressing towards the mean. Not sure if I if I think everybody is going to regress, though. Ben Heller, 4.08. He's a guy I'm excited about because he throws 100 with a nasty slider. I think he could be one of those guys that turns the corner and becomes a dominant bullpen arm. You see, the Yankees haven't done much with their bullpen this, pit, this offseason. I guess, you know, signing Garrett Cole actually helps their bullpen because it takes less innings out of that. You know, it takes... It takes pressure off of that bullpen by making him throw less innings because he's going to eat up more innings if healthy you never know with this team uh they still got guys like steven tarpley on here even though he got traded to the marlins yesterday so uh you know overall give it a look the link is in the comments of or sorry in the uh description of this video um let me know your thoughts if you think they're over under let me know your projections uh personally i think they're kind of Keeping the Yankees short a little bit here. The Yankees seem to have a mastery of that analytical stuff where they know who's going to perform well and who's not. So uh, I think they might have overshot a bit with Mike Ford. I don't know if he's going to get that kind of a uh, – a, uh, I don't know if he's going to get that many at-bats, to be honest with you. Uh, they compare him. His number one comp is Tino Martinez, whom I did a video on a couple days ago. Uh, they've got Aaron Judge's number one comp as Tim Salmon. And DJ LeMayhew as Julio Franco. So I actually really liked Julio Franco. Remember he had that that overhand bat twirl thing? He was fun. So, all right, enjoy. I'll see you next time.